Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at the migration process moving from Toolset to Metabox. Toolset was long known as the most capable dynamic data solution. And for many years, Toolset worked with page builder teams to ensure integration and compatibility. It probably had more integrations than others, but behind, of course, advanced custom fields. Then Toolset embraced Gutenberg. They were one of the first to do so, and they ported their content template creation features from using Bootstrap and shortcodes to using the block editor. At that time, they decided to embrace the WordPress way, and when they moved to Toolset Blocks, they put the brakes on integration with other tools. Unfortunately for Toolset, other custom field plugins didn't stop integration efforts, and Jet Engine, Metabox, and Pods have increased their market presence while Toolsets has diminished. People noticed that Toolset had not released new features for some time, and after lots of questions about this, Toolset responded, saying they were unsure of their future given the new site editor features that had been added to Core. They felt like now they were competing with Core. Toolset put new development on hold and decided they would reassess in the future. Consequently, people have been considering other options, and Metabox is a popular alternative. Metabox released a toolset to Metabox migration extension to help people who wanted to move to Metabox. And that's what we're going to be testing out in this video. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. I have here a toolset testing site using the free Cadence theme. On the front end, you can see I have some demo post content. And here's a custom post type called Books. I've created a content template. You can see it probably needs some work, but it gives you the idea. This is Archive, and this is a single template. And you can see here we show two custom fields, the author's photo, and this button has a link to the author's website. If we look on the back end, at the books custom post type. The custom post type itself, books, was made with toolset. The custom taxonomy, genres, was made with toolset. We see that the records have the regular title and content area, and the book cover is used as the featured image, but it has this custom taxonomy and then two custom fields, author's website and author's photo. And so if we look here, we can see here's the book's custom post type created with Toolset. If we go to taxonomies, here's the genres taxonomy. If you look at custom fields, here are the book info custom fields, okay, a URL and an image. So let's go to the Metabox website. And if we look at the products extensions, we see that here is a Metabox toolset migration. Migrate custom post types and taxonomies, field groups, custom field data, and relationships from toolset to Metabox. So they're saying that you can migrate field groups, settings, and their location rules, migrate field types, including galleries, relationship, group, repeater, flexible content, conditional logic, all data for post terms, users, relationships, one click to migrate, okay? They do give a list of some of the field types that can be migrated. And just for the heck of it, let's go see what field types Metabox has. If we go to the documentation, we see right here is a help article that lists the field types they have. Okay, and so I'm assuming that field types that exist in both Metabox and Toolset, they should be able to migrate over. And let's go to the Toolset website and let's look at what types of fields Toolset has. We'll go to documentations. Let's see, there's getting started, lessons, legacy features, programmer information, toolset and WordPress glossary, toolset blocks, library, and frequently asked questions. I don't see right off the list of field types, 
But if we go to getting started, it looks like they're presenting you with the courses they have available for using Toolset. And that's kind of a cool way of teaching Toolset. But for someone who wants, you know, some reference information, like what field types do you support, it's not obvious. I did do some poking around and I found the information we're looking for under programmer information. And if we go down here, it says types, fields, API, application programmer interface for using tool set fields and PHP templates. And it's not until we go into programming that we actually see a list of the different types of uh, fields available. That's kind of a little buried in their documentation, if you ask me. But anyway, going back to our website, I have all-in-one WP migration, and you can see I took a backup before starting. If you're going to do a tool set migration, you want to make sure you have a good backup so if something goes wrong, and I'm on a local host testing site. I think it's a good idea to test something foundationally changing, like moving from Toolset to Metabox, to do that on a testing or staging site first before trying it on your production site. So with that warning, let's go and we'll add Metabox. And I have the Metabox all-in-one, so I'm going to find that file and install it. Let me pause the video and find that file. Okay, here's the all-in-one. I'm going to install that. I'll activate it. Okay, now you have to install the free Metabox extension from WordPress.org. So I'm going to install that. And activate that also. Okay, so we've got Metabox installed. Let me pause the video and enter the license. Okay, my license is active. Now I'm going to go to extensions. And here is the all-in-one where we can enable and disable any of the extensions we want. So I'm looking to make sure that we have the toolset migration extension right here and just to keep in mind any features that you want to have migrated over you'll need to have those features enabled in order for the migration to work for those okay so metabox has detected that tool sets installed and we have the tool set migration there are notes here are always back up your database first not all data types and settings have equivalents in Metabox, so they're going to try to do as much as they can. But there are things like Skype and post field types, which they can't migrate. And then they're suggesting, as I mentioned, that you have the common extensions enabled so those features can be migrated. I'm going to click Migrate, and we'll see what is involved. Started migrating post types, taxonomy field groups, processing one item, migrating posts. It's chewing through all that demo data. Migrating terms, users done. Okay, so that was mm, about a minute or maybe just a little bit more to do the migration. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go to plugins and I'm going to turn off the toolset plugins. And you see we still have our books custom post type here. Let's go look at a book record. Okay, there's our title, our content, our featured image, our genres were carried over, as were our custom fields, the URL field and the image field. If we look at post types here, 
we see that it has the books custom post type. It migrated over the other tool set testing post types I had. So there's the post type. Here's the taxonomy. Here's the book info. And here are the two custom fields, a URL and a single image field. Now, I think it's important to note that the content templates that we had that were created with Toolset, those don't get migrated. We don't have the layout that we created with Toolset. And if we look at a single record, we're dumped back to the default theme template that shows here. You're going to use Metabox Views, a page builder, or some other tool to build your content templates to show your custom fields. So I think that Metabox was smart to create this migration extension and make it so quick and painless. So this has been the walkthrough. There's a text version available on the WebTNG website with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.